Welcome to your Tea Time Tip. I'm Terry Miskolsi, Director of Instruction for Brown Golf here in Bluffton, South Carolina. Today's tip is going to be on consistency. What things did you have to do that are constant to build consistency in your golf game? So let's head over to the practice tee and let's visit what those constants actually are. Okay, we're on the practice tee. As you notice, I have what I call my training wheels. I have an alignment stick going towards my target and I have an alignment stick going perpendicular from there and that helps put my body in the right location. So what are the constants that we look for in golf? Well the first one is do you have the face of the golf club aiming at your intended area? If so, what you're going to see is you're going to see the bottom edge of the golf club is going to be perpendicular to your target line. That ensures that the face of the golf club is aimed at your target. That is your first step, and it's important because it's your first chance to hit the ball on target. Secondly, how are the hands placed on the grip of the golf club? I always make sure that the line formed between the thumb and forefinger of my top hand and the line formed between the thumb and forefinger of my bottom hand, they go the same direction. It's important that they go the same direction so that means if both hands are together, both arms are together, both sides stay together. Now, I don't care whether you have an overlap, an interlocking, or a ten finger. What I do care is that the hands are together on the grip of the golf club. Ball position, and I think we've talked about ball position in the past. The ball position should be approximately the width of the head of the golf club inside your front foot. Once you have your ball position, maintain it. Why do you want to maintain it? Because it is your key to consistency in where you bottom out. Try not to move the ball position around. Keep it constant from the driver all the way to the sand wedge. Next, your feet. Your back foot is always perpendicular to the target line. Your front foot is always slightly towed out. The reason for it being towed out is remember, the knee is a hinge. The hip is a ball socket. So I have that foot slightly towed out so that when I go through my swing as the hip turns the knee can follow it. If I leave it square it's going to put a lot of pressure on my knee so it gets in the way of my, my performance in terms of my golf swing. Next, posture. Your posture is set so that you always bend from the hips to the shoulders and you bend forward, keeping the legs straight, and then you unlock your knees. And when you unlock your knees, the weight is evenly distributed on the whole of the back foot and evenly distributed on the whole of the front foot. Balance. Your balance between front side and back side. You want to have, you'll see, a triangle shape. Arms, shoulders, feet, legs, and then feet to the head of the golf club and they always match opposite the middle of your body. That is your balance. And your final step, where do your eyes look? Your eyes should be looking where the golf club is sitting on the ground, not at the ball. And there's a reason for that and in future tips we're going to give you those reasons. But for now, this is your cons these are your constants. Golf club, hand position, ball position, stance, posture, balance, and where your eyes look. Do them and do them well and you will find more consistency in your golf shot making. I'm Terry Miskolsi. We'll see you next week with our next tip.